Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is just going to be a quick video. I went through the legendary difficulty of the side quest against this Sauron and I just wanted to show some of the counters that I brought and then talk a little bit about strikers and the event in general. So I'm starting off with War Machine. This has that really annoying node close encounters and I am running the recoil tree masteries just because I haven't reset them since the last war. Uh, so I am actually going to be taking a lot of damage here, but what I wanted to showcase here is something I've talked about before, just the armor up that we have from War Machine, as well as the energy resistance pre-fight that I put on us. Uh, is very very strong so I use the striker there we get the unstoppable which means we have full damage and I throw the special two which puts on an armor break and I'm still just baiting out these special twos here the armor break leads to a lot of damage we're gonna just block this but look how little damage that did because of our armor and because of our energy resistance once again just one of the the biggest pieces of utility that war machine has we throw again uh, this time we bait the special two and now we're gonna throw a special special one uh, after refreshing the armor break we're gonna have to block this again we're still unstoppable and now we're gonna throw this which means we get all five of the guaranteed ruptures using the unstoppable to our advantage one more special one and he goes down so most of the damage that I took from that fight was either from uh, the ticking away of the recoil tree masteries recoil itself or additionally the close encounters node which is quite annoying um, the other things that are going on in the fight, there's kinetic transference, but in a way you can use that to your advantage um, because you can push him to the second bar of power. The special two is a lot easier to bait than the special one. The special one you have to kind of just block and, and get out of the way. Um, so Ultron is a little bit more of a nuke just because he is so good against most mutants. I get the unstoppable early. Uh, we're going to use it to our advantage now he's unblockable so i have to be a little careful here the unblockable goes away um i will say i don't fully understand the unblockable mechanic with sauron yet um i'm sure if i had to fight him in a more high pressure situation I would uh, look into it a little more, but with Ultron, we have the synergy that gives him the cauterize uh, fury for a little bit longer. Um, we got a few evades there, which was helpful. And in general, we're just going to be using the, uh, right there, we, we intercept with the striker. So now we have full damage again, bait the special two, and this should be pretty much the end of Sauron. So pretty cool. Um, but as we're gonna see, my last counter is just Kitty Pride, And I think it's pretty self-explanatory because we're just doing medium light over and over again until uh, Sauron dies. Um, oh, it looks like that was actually my last run. So I kind of went out of order here. So this was earlier when I did Kitty Pride, But I do want to talk about the strikers in general. Um, I want to give Kabam credit because because the first three weeks of this event, the strikers were sort of fun, like, oh, it's a new button to press, it's a new mechanic to learn, but they weren't essential um, to be able to complete the paths. Like, it wasn't like you need a regen buff. It was just like, oh, if I want to heal up a little bit, I have this tool that I can hit this button and get the regen. Uh, same thing with the unblockable buff and all that. Um, but this week they added it so that there were some can't stop won't stop lanes Which means the unstoppable is necessary um, And you need to use the striker function. So I actually really like that um, Because it's sort of like they gave us a few weeks to kind of like play around with it in a sandbox and not really have it be essential But then you know if you did test it out and like figure out how to use it how to chain it to your combos How to maybe try to intercept with it um, things like that then by the time you get to this final quest you're more familiar with it and then you're able to take down the nodes additionally i like the side quest because there weren't strange objectives of like beat a champion with a medium attack or a heavy attack or things like that it was sort of just like do things get the compass get your entries to the event and it costs zero energy which i always like the rewards were sort of par for the course i thought it was a good side event overall i really did, don't have any complaints about it i think it was a great introduction to strikers and that's going to be it for today so hope you enjoyed these three solos hopefully it gives you some ideas about how to fight sauron if you aren't sure uh, feel free to watch it again if you didn't catch all of that gameplay but those are my initial thoughts on strikers and the side events and i will catch you guys in the next video